The first lesson will be on next, last, and this. Hyatsen a chi stjaning. Hyatsen a chi stjaning. Hyatsen a qui stjaning. Hyatsen a qui stjaning. Hyatsen a chi stjaning. Hyatsen a chi stjaning. And hyatsen a qui stjaning. Hyatsen a qui stjaning. In the model, Stiani means year. Use chi to refer to next year, qui for last year, tia for later this year, and quia for earlier this year. Other time expressions can be substituted for Stiani. A month or season name, for example, can be used as in, I go next April. Hiatsen a chi chin ma'au. Or I went last April. Hiatsen a quia chin ma'au. Or I go this April. This pattern is particularly useful with the days of the week, as in Achi Namas Squachi, next Sunday. Aqui Namas Squachi, last Sunday. Now it's time to make sure you know the days of the week. Sunday, Namas Squachi. Namas Squachi. Monday, Shiokhnat. Shiokhnat. Tuesday, Sanganat, Sanganat. Wednesday, not, not. Thursday, must not, must not. Friday, not, not. And for Saturday, not, not. not. Skamayu, skamayu, or there are three different ways to refer to Saturday. The cutoff refers to Saturday being the end of the week. Another useful time expression is chi ao, past. It can be used in a sentence like hiatsen a qui chi ao squachi. I went in days past. The phrase a qui chi ao stianing means either in the past year or in years past. And here's the Kwanawi. Now on to right now and later. I'll go right now. I'll go later. These are two very different patterns. Which means the event follows and the subject is indicated with a possessive pronoun on the event. It is possible to say which means I'll do it right now. The word has the word which means it is, there are, it is or there are, and the prefix already. So the literal meaning is it already is. The second model shows how the word qua works. This word means something like, it'll be later on, after a while, put it off until later. Pretty soon or slow down, take it easy and do it later. Now on to soon, almost, and barely. I'll hit it soon. I almost hit it. I barely hit it. The meanings almost and barely are not really time expressions, but they are meanings of chi, which is a time expression when it has a prefix. This is a great example of how grammar affects the meaning of a word. Chi can mean soon, almost, or barely, depending on the grammar of the sentence it's in. When chi has the prefix, it means soon. The word chi always appears at the beginning, followed by the subject pronoun. The event follows connecting the little word e. Here's the pattern for soon. 
The meaning almost has the same grammar as the meaning soon, but it doesn't have that prefix on chiite. The chiite comes first in the subject pronouns, then e, then the event. The meaning barely has very different grammar. Chiai still comes first, but the subject is indicated by the possessive pronoun on the event. The event also has the u prefix and must be preceded by the tsa article. So keep in mind that the possessive could be a prefix or a suffix. Note that the s prefix is required here because the event has the possessive pronoun. This illustration of a target shows the difference in meaning between chiai e tsut, which means he almost hit it, and Chiai tsas u tsuts. He barely hit it. Chiai and chiai uses the e construction are really types of intensifiers. Another way of expressing the idea of soon in Kalalum, you would use the word tsingi, means basically near or close. It can refer to space or time. So tsingi, tsin chi, and tsishlen can be used to mean I'll eat soon. Or a literal translation would be. I'm close to my eating. Now on to before and past time. I go before two. Before two o'clock, and I I go after two o'clock. Yeah, it's a night. Chiawa, chasa. Yeah, it's a night. Chiawa, chasa. I went in days past. Yeah, it's a night. Chiawa, squatchy. Yeah, it's a night. So you learned that chiai can mean almost or barely, depending on the grammar of the sentence. Here, in the first model sentence we see that it can have another related meaning, before or proceeding in time. The major new idea in this section is the word chiao, which means past or after. The second model sentence can be translated, I go past two o'clock. To talk about in years past, substitute the word chianing or squatchy, like a chi chiao chianing. And there's no audio to this, so I'll read it out. A queen sa I eat chum a snuck qui at sun stracha chum a snuck quist at chi chiao at moose. Hia ut hai at town. Awa a a in tsatst. The last lesson will be on age. Queen uch an stianing. Queen uch sa an stianing. Queen. Stianning, Queen's Stianning, Upitsen e chi tots Stianning, Upitsen e chi tots Stianning, Kiatsen a Queen's Upin Stianning, Kiatsen a Queen's Upin Stianning. To ask how old someone is, you use the word Queen, how much or how many, and the possessive pronoun on the word Stianning year. The question literally means, your years are how many? Another way to ask about someone's age is shown in the second model. This uses the t you subject. This question literally means, you are how many years? And the third model sentence shows the pattern for saying how old you are. This is simply the number followed by stianing year. The subject pronoun follows the first word as usual. And the last model sentence has the form of the time expression you saw in the first time expressions video. The last Quinawi for this video. Quinuj in Stianing. Quinuj in Stianing. Upinsen e tang Stianing. Upinsen e tang Stianing. Upinsen e tang Stianing. Chintang i e test a eshwa. Chintang i e test. Uh, Alright, 